Hey guys, welcome back. We've had some requests on how to check and adjust your valves on a Chinese 49cc 50 scooter. So today we're going to show you guys how to get access to your valves as well as how to check your valves and adjust your valves if needed. So Adam's going to start off and he'll start off uh, with the narration. He's going to be removing the uh, the bucket seat. So go ahead, Adam. So basically, what you do is you stick the key in your in your seat lock. Basically, uh, grab an impact or a wrench with a 10 millimeter on it. There are four four nuts. So the two that I just got and two in the seat here. Just like that. Now you grab either a screwdriver or a drill, and there's a screw right here. Just like that, now you're ready to pull out the seat. So it should just easily come out just like that. All right, so this is the way you're gonna gain easy access to uh, your valves then? Yes. On the scooter, so you have to remove that uh, bucket seat. Oh man, also, bucket. also to get to your head, there's two screws here, which this scooter doesn't have any. You just pull right out. There's okay. your the head cap. The head is where the intake manifold is, so basically we're gonna be taking the eight millimeter to it which is right. what size socket did you use uh, to remove the uh, seat bucket the 10 millimeter 10 millimeter okay and so, then this one here you're using what size an eight eight millimeter yes so basically there are one two three four five six bolts you gotta get out What is, uh, got a question for you. What is this uh, green wire here connected to the uh, cover? So both, basically these are both uh, ground wires. One goes to your harness and one goes to your battery. Okay, and then what are what is that uh, chrome looking uh, tube? This is your here? emission tubes. Now some 49cc scooters, they don't have them. So basically they won't have this emissions tube. It would just be from straight from the exhaust pipe, which is down here, right there. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna pull off the emissions tube here, off the head head cover, so it makes it easier for access. Okay. Put it off to the side. All right, so now you have access. So now your valves are being exposed. You have your intake and you have your exhaust valves. Yeah, so this is your intake, and then this is your exhaust. So basically how you can tell is FS or HF is uh, your intake, and then the EX is for your exhaust. Okay. So basically uh, what we need to do is we need to get it in top dead center. So basically you want, let me get it in top dead center. The top, the big hole here, straight up. And then um, if you guys can take the side panels off, it would probably be a little bit easier for you. And then uh, there's two little dash lines on the uh, camshaft itself. It'll uh, be lined up with the top of the head. So basically now after you've gotten all that done, Basically, you wiggle your valves. This one on this one feels good. This one on this one, eh, feels okay. Okay, when should somebody check their valves? Um, so basically, it depends. So if you get a brand new scooter, um, sometimes they need it at 1,500 miles. It just depends on how well they're broken in. Now, if you bought a used scooter from somebody, um, and they haven't done any maintenance to it, I would do it right away. Okay. Just to make sure that you're gonna be getting uh, good fuel and make sure that uh, it's gonna start right away for you. Okay, does that include if you hear ticking going on? If you hear ticking going on, they need to be, uh, be readjusted back to the motor because they're way too loose. Okay. So basically, I don't know if you can hear this one. Yeah. Basically, it's... Uh, quieter than what they were originally from what the customer told me. Okay. So basically, we just need to loosen them up just a little bit. All right, so this one here being your intake, which, intake and then the bottom is your exhaust. Yes. All right. So basically, we have a valve tool here. Okay. So basically, what I'm going to be adjusting them to is 0 .004, 0 .005. So which one is 0 .004? Which is the uh, 
the intake, and then the point zero zero five is the exhaust. Okay. So basically, um, you got guys might be able to uh, do it by freehand, just like this. Um, some people need a uh, feeler gauge. So basically, what you want on if you have a feeler gauge is you want it to be a little snug on the uh, on the gauge itself between the valves. So basically, what I'm going to do is since I have the the valve tool already, is loosen it up just like that. So basically, you can do it with an uh, with a nine millimeter wrench and then uh, like a crescent wrench. So basically, I'm just going to loosen them up just a little bit. And then what you want to do is you want to hold the center while you're tightening it, just like that. So now. Okay. There's that, and then the bottom is the same way. So basically, you do, like I said, just loosen it up, just like that. Just turn it just a little bit if it needs it, just like that. And your valves are adjusted. If you go to put the cover back on and they're a little noisy, try to get them a little bit quieter. All right, so that concludes on how to check, inspect, or adjust your valves on a Chinese 50cc or AKA 49cc Chinese scooter. Uh, this particular scooter is the Tao Motor ATM 50A1 City Rider gas scooter. And again, this procedure will be done on any Chinese scooter. So this is the way you wanna approach it with any Chinese 50cc scooter. You wanna remove that seat bucket so you gain access to the top end of the engine, removing the cover, and then getting access to the valves so you can check, inspect, as well as adjust the valves. All right, you guys, hope this uh, was helpful for those of you that wanna do their own service, repair, or just get, give you an idea of what, what's involved. Again, uh, most cases, brand new scooters at 1,500 miles, they do need a valve adjustment. Typically, depending on your shop, will run anywhere from $65 to $85 to adjust your valves. And uh, again, about 1,500 miles on brand new ones. And uh, if it's never been done, you should adjust the valves because it has a lot to do with the compression and starting of uh, your scooter and making it run as efficient as possible. We'll check you guys out later. See ya.